So what actually happened, that's what I talk about in the book, Don't Mess With My DNA, that what we're now discovering is that it actually affects the way the DNA is read and transcribed. So what happens is when there's a trauma that happens, it actually changes the methylation of the way the DNA processes. So a methyl group will either break off, which will then change the way that DNA is read and transcribed. So then it will then either turn on or turn off certain genes. So if it turns off um, some of the immune uh, genes that deal with the immune system, which is what I believe happens, and then it also turns on the inflammatory genes. So now the inflammation comes on. So people would say, well, that's a dis that's a you know dysregulation, dysfunction of the system. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's actually designed to protect you. So what a lot of people say inflammation is the is the problem. Inflammation isn't the problem. Chronic inflammation is the problem. It stays in an inflamed state. So inflammation is designed to protect the system. It's designed to go into a cell danger response to protect the system from any bacteria or foreign invaders getting in so that it can attack it. So what happens is that that's a temporary pause in the system to protect the system. The problem is, is that trauma runs on a loop. Mm 